Radon is in the same group as helium and the other noble gases, is a highly unreactive material. However, radon has quite an importance because it is formed by the decompos radioactive decomposition of some other elements. As I mentioned, you can imagine radioactivity as a droplet of water splitting into two. And they don't have to split into equal halves, and you can quite often be left with radon. Now, if you live in areas of the world where there is radioactive material in the minerals in the ground, then radon as a gas, which is quite long-lived, can come up through the ground and accumulate in your house. And then if you breathe it in, in principle it can cause lung cancer. And so there are some parts of the UK where radon levels are much higher than others, particularly those areas that are based on granite. But it's very unpredictable because if there happens to be a crack in the rocks under your house, you can get more radon than the guy next door. And so there has from time to time been a lot of worry about radon in the air. But for most people, it's not something that you should really worry about.